In this video, we're going to look at how to tackle percentage questions which involve appreciation or depreciation. Now, what does that mean? Well, when something is said to appreciate, all it's doing is going up in value. And when something is said to depreciate, all it's doing is going down in value. So, let's have a look at some questions and see how we would do these. Now, this first question is broken up into two parts. We're firstly asked to work out the depreciation, and secondly, we're asked to find the value of the car. So, we're told that the car was bought for 9550 and it's going down in value by 30%. So, all we need to do, first of all, is work out 30% of 9550 pounds. And we're going to assume that we have a calculator uh, for each of these questions. 30% is just 30 divided by 100, which is 0 0.3. We multiply that by 9,550, and that gives us an answer of 2,865. Okay? Now, there are two ways in which we could answer, I suppose, part B. Now that we've found how much the car has actually come down in value, all we need to do is take this away from the original value, and that would give us uh, our answer pretty quickly. But if the question hadn't involved us finding the depreciation itself and just asked us to work out the current value of the car, what we need to do, or what we would do, is think of the original amount, the original value, as being 100%. So if the car has come down in value by 30%, it's now worth 70% of what it used to be worth. So it's now worth 70% of 9,000. 550. And what we do is we think of this 70% as a decimal, and that's what we call the multiplier. Now, 70% is just 0 0.7, so when you multiply 9,550 by 0 0.7, you get our answer of 6,685. Okay, and that's how we're going to tackle each of the questions that come in this short tutorial. Okay? Now, let's have a look at this question. A house bought in 2007 for 87500 appreciated in value by 9%. So it's going up in value by 9% over the course of seven years. What is the house now worth? So, if we think of the original amount, the original value as being 100%, now, the house is worth 109% of its original value. And 109% of 87,500 can be thought of as, with our multiplier decimal, 1.09 multiplied by 87,500. That then gives us an answer of 95,000. 375. And so that's the current value of the house. So we, we could have worked out 9% and then added it on, but this is far quicker. If you just think of the original value as 100%, add 9% to it, convert this to a decimal, call it your multiplier, multiply, you get your answer, and you can move on to the next question. Okay, let's have a look at this question. A flat uh, is bought for £120,000, it is depreciating and it's going down in value by 3%. Now, again, if you think of the original uh, value as being 100%, if we've gone down, if we've gone down by 3%, it's now worth 97% of what it once was. So it's 97% of 120000 and we can just write that as 0 0.97 times 120,000. And finish that off, and we get an answer of 116,400. Okay? And that's us. Now, you may come across questions where you have irregular appreciation or irregular depreciation. And what we mean by that is it might go up by a certain amount one year and then go up by another amount or a certain percentage another year or go down 
by, as in this case, going down by 12% in the first year, and then by 9% in the following year. Okay. Now, again, thinking of 100% being the original value. Okay. Now, we can do this in one step. And all you need to do is say, well, if it's gone down by 12%, it's going to be worth 88% of what it used to be. And if it's then gone down by 9%, it's going to be worth 91% of what it was in the previous year. So you can just actually take your two multipliers, multiply them together, and then multiply everything you have by 13,500. You could do it in two steps. You could say 0.88 times 13,500 get your answer, and then multiply that by 0 0.91. But why do it in two steps or three steps when you can do it in one step? And so by combining your multipliers, we can get to our answer straight away, and we find that the car is now worth £10,810.80. Okay? And that's far quicker than having to work out 12%, subtract it, find the new value after a year, then work out 9% of that, subtract it, and then get your answer. So we're saving time, but just make sure you know what you're doing if you're going to adopt this method. And finally, again, repeat uh, irregular appreciation. We are going up by 2% the first year, and then up by 5% over the course of the second year. Now, you notice in the previous question, because we were going down, our multiplied was always less than 1. Because we're going with appreciation here, our multiplied is always going to be greater than 1, because we're going up in value. Okay? So again, work out your two multipliers. If we think of the original amount as being 100%, if it's gone up by 2%, then you're talking of 102%, which as a decimal is 1.02. Then secondly, if you are going up by 5%, you're talking of 105%, which as a decimal is 1.05. So you take your two multipliers, multiply them together, and then multiply the whole thing by the value of the house as it was, and then you get your answer that the house is currently worth 139,230. Okay? So that's just something that can save you a wee bit of time and let's face it, that's always a good thing. Okay, I hope that was of help. Just remember, think of the original amount as 100%, and remember to be careful, you read the question carefully, and know whether you are appreciating or depreciating. If you're appreciating, your multiplier will be bigger than one, like these here. If you're depreciating, your multipliers will be less than one, like we had in question four. And so I hope that was helpful.